Hey there folks and welcome back for another shave. I happen to be off today. I've had a rough two weeks at work, been plagued with a lot of big time infrastructure woes, but uh, this shave will make it better. I'm using my favorite sandalwood of all time, which is uh, none other than Tubbs. Love it. It's Taylor of Old Bond Street, for those of you who may be new. This is my second, well, can't see it, container of it, and I'm working my way to the bottom. I just, I love this stuff. It works great for me. I'm going to use a, a special razor and handle. The uh, handle was actually sent to me by the inspector, David Fernicola. Um, and this is an aluminum handle. Hope you can see that okay. He got this from eBay. I think he said the guy's name was Miller, so I'm just going to call it the Miller handle. This is aluminum. Uh, it's diamond knurled. It's very extremely grippy light. Uh, it's a little on the fat side for me personally, but he does make a variety of razors. Now, the inspector loves uh, handles with bigger width like this, um, but man, I got to tell you, this thing is very grippy and it's very well made. Um, like I said, it's lightweight aluminum and I'm using the Falcon Razor prototype head. This is just a 3D print from Francois Falcon Razors and we'll talk a little bit about this, but I believe you can get this as I think it's ASD78 on eBay. I will link it below and I'll put his uh, his username right here. And uh, you can go check out his handles. They're about, I think this is like $27 shipped. So pretty good price, very grippy. And I really like that. And then the inspector's a big fan of these. Again, I'm calling them Miller handles because I think that's his last name. And if I'm not correct, I apologize. Uh, so we'll get started with this just in a moment. I've already uh, loaded up with some tubs and uh, let me wet my face and let's get going stand by all right so as you can see see there on my lip my <laughs> lip is still cut from that uh, progress the other day and you know i have ultimately i chose to get rid of it not because i cut myself but because i don't like the adjustment on the progress compared to the future the future when you put that cap on you're adjusting right from the get-go with the progress You've got to twist it until it's on because it's two piece and then you don't necessarily know where the adjustment uh, starts and where it stops and it's known not to be necessarily consistent across the brand in terms of you know today you might be put it on three and it feels one way and you know next week you put it on three and it's a little little different it's not known to be super consistent among some of the progress razors not all so I just, although I wanted to keep it because it was a good shaver, I just got rid of it because it's just, I find the future to be a much better and refined adjustment, uh, or at least as, as it applies to the adjust, adjustment. And I like the future better. Some people don't, they find it to be a little unwieldy and on the aggressive side, but I like it. All right. Man, this stuff smells good. I love it. Okay, so we're going to be using the, uh, again, this is the Falcon Razor prototype from Francois. And I've just listened to that feedback. Hope you can hear that. It's like uh, buttering <laughs> toast. Um, a lot of feedback. Of course, some attribute that to the uh, plastic 3D printed head, and, and perhaps that's so. But... Uh, this is a really good shaver and Francois has been busy, you know, he's still in school, university and, um, you know, he's trying to complete that education and work and also working on this razor and, you know, something that I'm not very proud of. I'm proud of a lot of things in this community, but something that I'm not proud of is the fact that when Francois, uh, started with the idea of this razor. You know, a lot of times the people in this community help one another out. They are, um, we're known to be, you know, a brotherhood, so to speak. But I'll tell you, some of the competitors that make the single edge razors are not very brotherly. Um, and also, some manufacturers that make other DD razors, only two that I'm aware of. One of them is a major name. And I'm not gonna mention it because, you know, I don't wanna dissuade anybody if they like those brands but one of them makes this style of razor and there's very few people who do it so you can figure it out they were not very brotherly when francois announced he was making this razor 
Uh, and also when Joe, excuse me, let me rinse my face and we'll come back and talk. When Joe from Razor Rock was kicking around the idea of the Hulk, they were also not very brotherly. So I choose personally, I don't deal business with people like that. They, to me, it's very sleazy. It is bad form in a community that generally is uplifting and you know the vendors are generally friendly with one another it's anti-competitive and I got no use for that even though some of these companies uh, put out good product but actually both of them uh, one of them went as far as making threats and the other one just pulled what I would call a dick move very much a dick move and I'm not surprised because I you know, a lot of people have contacted me and asked about this particular razor, and, and they've shared with me their stories of how they made a uh, public complaint. The razor arrived, and they were on their waiting list, and it arrived banged up. And, you know, then the next one was banged up, and then they complained publicly, and that's it. They're done with you at that point. You can't even voice uh, a criticism without being banned from buying it. So, to hell with that. You know, that is... It's bad form, it's sleazy, and it doesn't speak well from a competitive standpoint. If you are so protective of your brand that you can't stand any criticism, you know, probably in the wrong business. Just my opinion. The product is good, but, you know, I just choose not to fool with those sort of folks. They're not the type of folks that... I want to associate with, although I'll say they treated me very well. Um, and it's a shame because I like the product. And it's just what happens sometimes. People are, um, money is everything. And I understand if that's the way you make your living, it's obviously very, very important to you. But you can still be gracious. You can still have some decency, some dignity. And you can still be decent. And some of the things that they pulled over the Hulk and the Falcon, unforgivable from my standpoint. I got no use for them whatsoever. Just absolute trash. All right. Stretch my face. Come back for the third pass. Um, something that's not absolute trash. Somebody who does conduct himself with integrity, with grace, and all the other qualities you want is Peter Wolf from Wolf Whisker. Great guy. And I saw the other day where he had uh, put on his Facebook messages, hey, I'm, I'm getting rid of some people because, you know, some of the stuff they post both on my timeline and just, uh, it's just, you know, not, doesn't really conform to my standard. It's a little offensive at times. He didn't put it in those words. I'm paraphrasing. And I had the same thing happen to me. You know, you want to involve everyone and, and be a part of, the community and really immerse yourself but then when you do you run into some people that just don't uh, understand that you know if you're gonna post something that's outrageous or profane don't do it on someone else's wall or you know if you're gonna do it um, and have a constant stream of you know profanity lay stuff or stuff that's just in poor taste not everybody's gonna dig that and when they unfriend you, it's not personal, you know? It's just they're like, they, they may not want to look at that. And so, you know, you can still talk about shaving in the groups, and that's what I've chosen to do. I just don't accept uh, folks in the community anymore because, you know, like I said, on in at least one case, I said, hey, I'm not looking for a debate on this issue, and they just, they got out of control, and I'm like, screw this. I'm not dealing with this stuff. I don't have to, and I'm not going to, so... Um, I just really thinned out the amount of people that I have who are shaving cringe. And some people, uh, a lot of people that I got rid of are perfectly nice people that never did anything. But it just, I had to, um, or I had to get that number down just to make it reasonable and prevent the type of uh, ridiculous, nick myself there. Or it may have been a nick that I opened up from yesterday. But I gotta tell you, for a plastic 3D printed prototype, this thing shaves well. And this handle is really um, nice. So this Falcon Razor, 
I don't know when it will be out, how long it will take, or, you know, any of those details, but I gotta tell you, it's a good shaver, even in this form. This handle is, is really nice, so Inspector, um, man, one thing for sure, you are not going to let go of this thing, because this is grippy. I think he says this is a, he calls it diamond knurling. Uh, again, Miller handle, aluminum. Check it out, and I'll post the information below. Stand by, let me go ahead and uh, rinse the face, and we'll come back and finish up. All right, so we're back, we are back, and we will uh, get our, there's witch hazel, the old cucumber, great stuff, magic, of course, because it's made by witches. And uh, as you know, I'm a big advocate of using this. The other brands are probably great too. Um, it works very well for well, me, excuse me, me not for you, but I'm a, certainly a believer in it. Um, we have left from Christmas still a little bit of uh, Tobbs Sandalwood Aftershave, which is excellent. It smells exactly like the cream. Um, I usually take aftershaves, a few of them in little vials like this, and it works out pretty well. This stuff is great. It sticks around a pretty good while. And it smells exactly like the uh, cream, which is a scent that I really like a lot. So, uh, the shave today was excellent. The Wolf Whisker 7 Seas, superb. Uh, the Miller Handle, um, sent to me and approved by the inspector, David Fern Cole. Very nice, well made. I don't see any dents, scratches, dings. It's lightweight, so if you like lightweight handles, you might want to consider one. And of course, the Falcon... Um, I'm really rooting for you, Francois. Joe, I want to see the hawk. Even if you make one, sell it to me. And I'll get in front of the camera and shave like a man-man <laughs> and point and laugh. I'm just kidding. I won't point and laugh. That's not very good form. Um, at any rate, I really encourage you guys who make razors, get out there with your uh, single-edge razor. Bring it to market. We're loving these style of razors. Let's get some more competition out there. You know, so we can... Uh, uh, for me... You know, I think it's sort of the American way to compete, and especially if you run a business. Now, me, myself, I'm not particularly creative. I'm not great in business, but I appreciate those who are. Um, and the interesting thing about Francois, I think he's from Belgium. If I'm not right on that, I apologize. He's more American than some of the, his competitors, you know, because he actually wants to compete, and they don't, which is it's pretty rough. Anyway. Thanks, guys, for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful and safe weekend. You guys have a great day.